Thank you for joining us to learn about our study. The DSM-5 cross-cutting symptom measure identifies high rates of coexistent psychiatric symptomatology in patients referred for insomnia treatment. This study was conducted at Melbourne Sleep Disorder Centre in Melbourne, Australia. And my name is Hayley Meeklem, one of the psychologists working at the centre. The DSM-5 cross-cutting symptom measure was implemented into the client intake procedure at Melbourne Sleep Disorder Centre. The study aimed to determine the feasibility of using the cross-cutting symptom measure within a sleep psychology service to identify coexistent psychiatric symptomatology in patients referring for sleep psychology treatment. It also aimed to assess the frequency of comorbidities in new sleep psychology referrals. 50 consecutive sleep psychology referrals had their clinical records reviewed and comorbidities identified in their referral letters were recorded, along with responses to the DSM-5 cross-cutting symptom measure and insomnia severity index. Insomnia was the primary reason for referral, with most clients falling within the moderate severity range on the insomnia severity index. We found that 82% of our sample had at least one diagnosed comorbidity upon referral, and 26% of those had a psychiatric diagnosis. Responses to the DSM-5 cross-cutting symptom measure are displayed in figure two. You will see that as expected, sleep symptomatology was the most common psychiatric symptom reported. However, depression, anger, anxiety, and somatic symptoms were also frequently reported. You'll also note that suicidal ideation and substance use was common in this sample. Overall, we found that the DSM-5 cross-cutting symptom measure was a feasible tool to use within this setting as it was quick and easy to administer and provided useful information about psychiatric symptomatology that was co-occurring in sleep psychology referrals. High rates of varied psychiatric symptomatology were reported by clients and consistent with past research, high rates of diagnosed comorbidities were present upon referral. Further research is required with larger sample sizes, more diverse sleep psychology services, along with additional psychiatric diagnostic tools to assess the clinical utility of the DSM-5 cross-cutting symptom measure within a sleep psychology service. Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed learning about our new study published in Nature and Science of Sleep.